And now, live from C Nation Studios at Irwin Academy, it's the C Nation Podcast Show! Mic check, mic check. What's up guys, Mr. C in the place to be, C Nation Studios at Irwin Academy. Yes, I say the same thing every time I open up another podcast video and pretty much any day of the videos too. How you doing? How you feeling guys? Happy Wednesday, August 19th. And this time I'm not going to be talking about music. I'm going to be talking about myself because I am selfish. Not really. Um, I am going to be talking about myself, though. So, anyways, uh, what is this? Why is my computer freaking out a little bit? What is this? Huh. Don't need that. Anyways, my name is Mr. C, officially Mr. Calderon. I am the music teacher here at Irwin Academy, and I work with all fourth graders, fifth graders, and sixth graders. Most of you 5th and 6th graders know me already, and you kind of have an idea of my teaching style, my personality. Uh, To all you new 4th graders that I saw on our Google Classroom, welcome to music. Uh, This isn't normally how we start the music year. Usually it's a lot noisier. It's pretty quiet for me, and it's actually kind of throwing me off a little bit. Um, We have a lot of fun in music. And... Just because we have fun does not mean that we're learning. Understand that, okay? Um, The fun comes secondary and the learning is always first, okay? I I say that because it, it might not seem like we're learning in the class, but you know what? The learning is hidden, all right? Believe it or not, and if you really wanna get good at what we do in this classroom, it takes work. It takes practice. I say that all the time. Some of my 5th graders and 6th graders will confirm for you that I repeat a lot of what I say because it's the truth. I mean it. Okay? 99% of the time, I will not lie to you. You are my students, and I will not lie to you because I don't want you to lie to me. I, I really don't like that. Okay? If you make a mistake, just own up to it. Don't get caught in a lie, please. Please. And all this, if when we meet each other in person in the classroom, all this is just going to be repeated. Okay? But at least right now you're going to get a head start. Okay? Um, really, don't don't lie. Just just own up to it. Please just own up to it. Okay? Come on. Why are you going to waste your time lying? Why do you need to waste your time lying when you can just own up to a mistake and move on? Okay? I make mistakes... Not all the time, but I make mistakes, okay? Sometimes when I'm teaching something I'm trying to teach you, I'll be wrong about something. And I'm okay with that because I will definitely own up to it. Or my students, hey, Mr. C, that's wrong. What do you mean? I'm not going to be like, oh, no, I'm the teacher, and you're wrong, and I'm always right. No, I'm not that kind of person, okay? I will always talk to you like a person. I will not talk to you like a little kid. I will talk to you like I talk to my kids. My kids, my blood, my son and my two daughters. I will talk to you and I will treat you as if you were my own flesh and blood. When you become a C Nation student, when you become one of the music students here at Irwin Academy, you are joining our family, our intermediate family, the music family, the C Nation. You are joining C Nation, which is why the studio is called C Nation Studios. Okay. You're becoming part of our family, and I will treat you like family. Okay? Um, kind of lost my train of thought. I will not treat you like I am better than you. I will not portray myself like I am better than you. We are all here to learn, and believe it or not, as your teacher, I learn new things every day, whether I'm out researching new things for music or how to become a better teacher for you, or sometimes even just teaching students in general. Sometimes things fall into place and it's like, okay, that makes sense. I learned something new today. All right. Um, 
My teaching, my my teaching style is very unorthodox. It's not like everybody else. I believe in the entertainment aspect of teaching, meaning I need to make your daily classroom experience entertaining for you. That way, you remember what happened better. That way, you remember what you learned better. Oh yeah, remember Mr. C was talking about dynamics and he tripped and fell and landed on his face and he got up and he started cracking up. Obviously, I'm not going to fall on my face on purpose. But situations like that happen and I'll make the best out of it. Okay? Ask any of my former students. They remember music as good memories, good times. Okay? We have laughs. We get frustrated. Sometimes we even shed tears. All right? Music is life. Music is a part of life. For me personally, there's songs that I'll listen to that take me back in the day. Take me when I was a little kid. Take me when I was going through a hard time. Take me back to when I was coming out of a hard time. Okay? Like, music for me is is memories. I, I can associate certain songs with different feelings that I've had in the past, different situations that I've had in the past. What is music to you? Leave a comment. Maybe you're, leave a comment below. Maybe you're brand new to music and you haven't really experienced playing an instrument or making, creating a song yet. What do you want to get out of music class here at Irwin Academy? Okay, because we have quite a variety. Um, This music program that I built here at Irwin Academy for 4th, 5th, and 6th graders is very unique. And it's always changing. It's always improving. It's always developing. So, you know... Four years ago, we didn't have a studio. We didn't have podcasts. We didn't have recordings and stuff. Like, you know, we're we're always finding new things and new ways to create music here at, at Irwin Academy, here at C Nation Studios, here in music class. All right. Um, for those of you curious what type of music classes we offer, we um, have rock band, which is also known as modern band consists of guitars, bass guitars, the drum set, singing, playing piano, and playing ukulele. Um, there also might... Oh, and for piano, we have melodicas too, which is like... Don't, don't worry, but you'll see. Um, we also might be adding a new instrument. Um, we're looking into possibly getting um, harmonica lessons in, because why not? We also offer um, band meaning flute, clarinet, saxophone, trumpet, trombone, and drums. We have our well-known drum line here at Irwin Academy. Um, the drum line instruments include snare drums. These are all marching instruments. Snare drum, bass drum, uh, trios, also known as a tenors, and crash cymbals. And um, lastly, we last year we just started a bucket class, bucket drumming. And uh, it was really cool because in the beginning of music last year, People didn't really think much about buckets until their first performance. I had people wanting to come into the class, people that were, which I appreciate, talking smack, and were shown that they were wrong, and that that was fine. You know, I, I'm glad. I'm glad my students are proud of what they play, and they're proud of the music class that they come from, and. And, you know, they really take it to heart when it's like, nah, nah, I don't know about your class. I- I'm all with my class. You know, what what we play over here, you guys, nah, we're on a whole nother level. And then they see and they're like, oh, okay, uh, maybe there is something going on here. You know, like, um, C Nation students are always respectful, okay? Um, I know that you guys, with your friends, you're probably going to talk trash to each other. Oh, no, drumline is better than band, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I don't really appreciate that, but I know that I can't really stop it. I know it's still going to happen anyways. Just understand that here in C Nation, we all are a family. We all represent our school, no matter what. It doesn't matter what you're playing, okay? We're representing our school. We're representing our principal. We're representing me. You are representing me. So, no matter what, practice being respectful at all times. Sometimes, and this has happened before, we might go to a performance out in the public somewhere and another school may walk up to you and talk trash directly to your face. 
saying that you are not good at what you're doing, saying that they're better than you. Now, as your teacher and as you being a representative of our school, I expect you to handle it the right way. Are we all perfect? Do we make mistakes? Yes, we make mistakes. We're not perfect. Okay? But I expect you to always try your best. If somebody's going to walk up to you and start talking smack, thanks. Don't say nothing. You don't have to talk trash back to them. Okay? You're, you're one of my kids. You're one of my students. And you are. I hold you in high regard. I will always hold you up high. Not literally. But I will always see you as one of the best. It doesn't matter if you're getting in trouble a lot. It doesn't matter if you're a quiet kid. It doesn't matter if you are one of the best. I will always see you as one of the best students ever. Because you're mine. That's why. So I expect you to always try your best. If somebody's going to talk trash, just say thanks. And then show them how it's done at that performance. Okay? You don't need to say anything. You show them how it's done. You show them why you're the best. And like I said, that's happened before. Okay? That's not going to be the last time it happens. So, don't be surprised. That could be you one day. My computer locked. Oh, what else? I know I said I was going to talk about me, and I'm just talking about class procedures and rules and stuff, but I got three rules in my class when we see each other face-to-face. -face. Always be safe, responsible, and respectful because that covers everything, okay? Uh, there's stairs leading up to my classroom. If you're over there jumping off the stairs, you are not being safe, and you'll be in trouble. Why? Because Mr. T is mean. Well, it's it goes without saying. You're going to jump off the of stairs. Why? And then you're going to land wrong. You're going to break your foot. And then what? It's like, come on. Come on. Okay? Be respectful. Over time, you will learn that I am I'm kind of mean. Um, and I'm never really serious when I'm mean. Okay? You'll know when I'm mad. You'll know when... Yeah, I'm... I go Hulk. Okay? Most of the time, a lot of my students know, Mr. C, listen to my song. And they'll play it. What do you think, Mr. C? Does it sound good? Eh, hey, you're terrible. I'm sarcastic. That's the word I was looking for. I like being sarcastic because it's funny. And you'll know when I'm being sarcastic. And don't take me seriously when I'm being sarcastic. Okay? If I ever say something or do something that is offensive to you that you take offense you're like hey I don't like that tell me because I'm not gonna know okay I'm I know I don't I barely have any hair but I'm not Professor X from the X-Men and I can't read your mind what I mean by that is some students I give Nick's nicknames to okay mostly they're they're circumstantial something happens and it just it fits that person okay um one one of my students, I uh, gave her a nickname Jelly Bean because she br used to bring me jelly beans, and then just kind of it stuck. Okay, if I give you a nickname, for example, and you don't like that nickname, please tell me, Mr. C. Uh, that nickname you gave me, I don't really like it. Can you not call me it? Yeah, I got you, no problem. I'm not gonna be mad, be like, <gasps> oh, I am offended. No, okay, and that's happened in the past before. I've had a student where I've I've said a nickname. Hey, I'm gonna start calling you this. And he came up to me and said, Mr. C, I don't like that nickname. Can you not call me that? Yeah, no problem, man. I got you. Okay? I'm not going to know unless you tell me. Speak up. Speak. Say what you have to say. Okay? I'm here to help guide you to become a better musician, to develop your musical skills. And I need... I, I can't do it all by myself. I need your help. Okay? Um, as a music student, you are expected to practice. If you're not going to practice, then don't be in music. Like, I know that sounds mean to say, but you got to practice. That's the only way to get better. If I played the clarinet and I never practiced, I will never get better. Okay? Yeah, you're here in class and you're playing in class. And that's great. But that's only two hours a week. And you're not going to be as good as you could be if you practiced at least 30 minutes a day. If you practice 30 minutes, 30 minutes, five days a week, okay? That is, what, 30, 30, 30, 30, that's two and a half hours a week. That's it, two and a half hours. 
It's like as long as one movie. If you did that once a week and then like you don't practice Saturday and Sunday, you take two days off, you will be surprised at how better you are getting faster than people that don't practice. Trust me, because I've been through that experience. I was that guy who didn't think he needed to practice. I never practiced. And then one day I sat down and I practiced half an hour at least every day and I got better. Okay, playing a musical instrument takes practice. Okay, it it goes without saying. If you're not practicing, you're not going to get better. If you want to get better, put some time into it. And honestly, five minutes of practice is better than nothing. If you can only practice for five minutes one day, it's better than not practicing at all. Okay? And I know it's not a half an hour, but it's better than nothing. Okay? Uh, Let's see. Another, as, as a C Nation student, I expect you to try your best all the time. Okay? Now, some of you are going to be shy to, to play in class or to perform in class. You're going to have to push through that. I'm not going to force you to play your instrument in front of the class. I'm not going to force you to sing in front of the class. I'm not going to force you to do anything. I will guide you and I will lead you to the, that spot. But in the end, it's all on you. If you want to be a singer in rock band class and you're one of my new fourth grade kids... My fifth and sixth graders will tell you, it is not easy singing in front of people. I know it's not easy singing in front of people. I sing in front of people. Okay, I play in different bands. I play different instruments in bands. One of the bands I sing and I play guitar. And I've been doing it for years and I still get nervous every single time. That nervousness is never going to go away. But how you use that energy is going to determine the outcome. If you're scared nervous... And you're probably going to make a mistake and you're probably going to run off stage crying. It's happened to some of my students before. If you're excited, nervous, you might make a couple mistakes. But afterwards, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, that was awesome. I can't wait to do it again. Okay? If you're in rock band and you want to be a vocalist, a singer, I'm going to tell you right now, you will be asked to sing in front of the class or in the class around other people. There's no better way to get started than that circumstance. Why? Because mostly in rock band class, if you sing, people aren't really going to pay attention. Maybe you might have one or two people looking over and like, oh, wow, that person's singing. But never in the times that I've had rock band, never has anyone ever in my class been made fun of for them singing. Now, there's a different situation where people get laughed at because somebody's singing said something funny or they sang it off key and that person started laughing and then everyone else started laughing with them. No one will ever be made fun of for making mistakes seeing my watch is saying breathe. (laughs) I'm getting into it now. No one is ever going to be made fun of for playing their instrument or singing or performing in the class. The cool thing about my classroom is... I've never had that problem and everyone else I've never had to tell them everyone has been very supportive of each other you know why that is because they're doing the same thing you are and yeah everybody's different some people handle it better or worse than others but everyone in C Nation is here to support you okay everybody my fifth and sixth graders will tell you that okay people will clap for you they will cheer you on people want to see you try in my class and of course I do too so always just try your best it doesn't matter how it sounds it doesn't matter how many mistakes you make it doesn't matter if you're playing the wrong song at the wrong time just try just try that's all I ask is try in music class alright because as long as you're trying I can work with you I can make you better I can help you get better I just need that effort okay uh what else do i got on the list um we're starting music next week we are starting music monday august whatever that is i guess i could tell you i mean i have a calendar on this computer um august 24th music is starting it is all online and a lot of it is going to be learning theory because a lot of us don't have instruments right now so when you get online uh make sure you mute yourself um, make sure 
when you are coming in to online music through Zoom, make sure you have your name displayed. Um, I'd like for you to have your video on for attendance purposes, but um, make sure you're muted. Make sure whatever clothes you're wearing at home is school appropriate. Okay, wear a shirt and wear clothes. You know, if you're gonna be in your PJs, like it has to follow school guidelines. Okay, school dress code stuff. Okay, I'm not expecting you to be in a uniform. I don't know what your other teachers are expecting, but I'm not expecting you to be in uniform. Okay, but it needs to be school appropriate because this is online school. Rules still follow. Got it? Cool. Um, for now, online, you're going to be graded on attendance, meaning being in music class and effort in music. Trying, 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 trying. Okay. You music, you have to try. If you want to get better, you got to try. There's going to be some worksheets, and you're just going to turn them in on Google Classroom. Try. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Okay? Try your best. That's how I'm going to see. I'm going to look at the work that you're turning in. I'm going to say, okay, oh, well, there's a mistake. Here's a mistake. Here's a mistake. Mistake, mistake. Okay, maybe I need to go back, and I need to reteach this part because... This person got these mistakes, and this person got these mistakes, and they're kind of the same mistakes. So I'm messing up as a teacher, and I need to go back and do a better job of teaching it. Okay, that's what I do with all this work that you're turning. In. If you don't turn any work, well, I'm assuming that you're not learning nothing. So I'm gonna call up your house. I'm gonna send you a message, whatever. Hey, so and so hasn't been turning in work for music. I just want to see what's going on. Is Mr. C is the place to be? Okay, so. Nothing is going to be too difficult. And if you don't understand something, once again, I'm not Professor X. I cannot read your mind. Say something. Because sometimes I'm trying to explain something and trying to teach something. And I have a great idea in my head, but it's not coming out very well verbally. So if you don't speak up, Mr. C, I don't understand. Mr. C, I'm not getting it. I'm not going to know. So please tell me. I'm not going to be mad at you. I'm not going to be like, oh, you're interrupting. Oh, my gosh. No, because you're helping me. Okay, if anything, you're helping me. So, Mr. C, I'm not, I'm not getting it. Can you try explaining it in a different way? Yeah, cool. No, okay. Let me, let me see. How can I explain this differently? Okay. I want the knowledge that I have in this bald head. I want to share the musical knowledge that I have with you guys and make you guys the best musicians that the world has ever seen. Okay. That's what I want to do. I want to make you guys better than the music kids that you're going to be working with in middle school and high school. Okay? That's that's my dream. That's my goal. That's what I want to accomplish. Okay? Any of my music students, I want them to be better than everyone else in their classroom when they go to middle school. Maybe even better than every one of the students in the classroom in high school. I want that to be you. Okay? So, uh, what else? I know I haven't talked about me. Practice, try your best, mute on arrival, graded on attendance and effort and music. Safe, respectful, responsible. I have the when you come to my classroom, when we meet each other face to face, those are the, the three rules that I didn't finish saying. Um they're posted on the wall in three different spots. Okay. By my door when you walk into the classroom, behind my desk, and by the electric guitars on the wall. It's posted on a piece of paper. Three rules. Always be safe, responsible, respectful. Always. Okay? Um, no one goes on my podium. A podium is a place where I stand in my classroom and I direct the class, which if you still don't know what a podium is, you'll see when, when you come into class. Okay? And my third rule. Oh, you're not allowed to have food or drink in my classroom. Okay? Water is fine. There's no food or drink allowed in the classroom during music time. Music time. Okay? Why? Because if you're eating your chips, and you wouldn't believe how many times I caught kids munching on hot Cheetos while they're playing their clarinet. It's ridiculous. Every time you're eating that and you're blowing into your instrument, those little food particles go in your instrument. And they get stuck there. And they get moldy and rotten. And sometimes bugs will go in your instrument and eat that yummy, rotten, nasty food. And last thing you want is to play your clarinet and to blow and a cockroach comes out and goes... <laughs> okay? And, an and another thing could be that moldy food stuff gets hard and then it gets old and it starts to break apart from you playing. And you'll play your trumpet and you'll see a puff of green, cloudy, nasty old spit. Poof. 
and you don't want to breathe that stuff. That's gross. Okay? That's why you don't get to eat or drink food or and eat food or drink drinks in my classroom during music time. Mr. C, I'm a drummer and I don't have to blow into my instrument. I'm a guitar player or piano player. I don't have to do that stuff. So I can eat, right? Nope. But why? Because it's not fair to everybody else. Okay? All music classes, no one is allowed to eat or drink. Water is acceptable. Water is always okay. Don't keep water around electronic instruments. Okay? There's no water allowed in the recording studio, period. No food, no drink allowed in the recording studio. And I still catch people doing it. They think, oh, he's not going to know. Yeah, you leave your trash on the floor and you don't throw it away, lazy. Okay? No food or drink, not even water, is allowed in the recording studio. But when we start doing our, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, man, I totally had a brain fart. We do our, the one class that we have at the end of the day where everybody changes classes and they go... The one class, you know what I'm talking about. Leave a comment because I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> and tell me what it's called. Um, the one class at the end of the day, and we have our different groups. If you're in my group, um, and you know we do robotics, we did podcasts, we did uh, coding, computer coding. You know, you know I'm talking about that the yearbook, that class. Okay, food and drink is allowed in that class as long as people clean up after themselves. Why are they allowed in that class and not in any of the classes? Because there's no music going on during that class. That is a different, completely different class. And there's no music involved. Podcast doesn't count. Okay? So I do allow them to have... Um, I'm still trying to think of what it's called and I can't think of it. Anyways, um, food is allowed during that time. Okay? No other times. Um, what else do I have to say? I guess I actually have to talk about me now. Um... Everyone gets. Oh, for my new fourth graders. Um, now, everybody, not everybody has an instrument, okay? There's probably about 15% of you that have an instrument, okay? Uh, the other 85% of students do not have an instrument here, and you're probably one of them. So what are you going to do? Like I said, don't worry. We're going to be doing music theory. It's not going to be the greatest, but it's going to help you. I promise, okay? If you do have an instrument, can you practice it? Yes. Uh, you're not going to need it for the Zoom lessons, okay? But everyone will be given an instrument when we are back in school face-to-face, -face, okay? Um, if you're a fourth grader and you never passed your belt group or whatever, um, don't worry. I don't give tests to see if you're allowed to play an instrument. Everyone is given a chance. Okay. Now there is some there is a catch though. This goes for everybody. You don't get to change your instrument. You don't get to keep changing class. No. Um, before I give you an instrument, I'm gonna give an instrument demonstration. I'm gonna show you all the instruments that you can choose from that you can learn how to play. Okay. You need to pick what instrument you want to play. Don't pick an instrument that your friends are playing. Pick something that you want to do, okay? And I don't recommend picking an instrument that your family really wants you to play because I'm going to tell you why, okay? If you are happy with the instrument you want, you're more likely to play it, okay? If your family says, no, I want you to play this, you're going to play this, and you really don't want to play it, you're not going to want to play it. But that right there is between you and your family. You need to talk to your family and say, you know, look, mom, dad, whoever, um, I don't really want to play. I really want to play this instrument. Can I please play this instrument? That has to be between you and your family. Okay. Now, make sure you're happy with the instrument you want. That's what I'm trying to say. If you're happy with the instrument that you get, you are more likely to practice. You're going to enjoy playing it. Now, are there certain situations where you get an instrument, then you try it, and you don't like it? Yeah. And in 5% of every case that I get, very rarely will I let another student change an instrument. Why? Because you're wasting time. You pick a flute, and then you don't like it, and you go to clarinet, and then you don't like it, and you go to saxophone, and you don't like it, and then you want to go to rock band. You're not learning anything. You're not putting in the practice time. That's why. And people will do that if I let them. So I don't. You get one opportunity. 
to pick what instrument you want. Make sure you're happy with it because I'm probably most likely not going to let you change. Okay? One chance to pick one instrument. Does that mean if you're a fourth grader and you pick this one instrument and you don't like it that you're stuck with it for three years? No. Finish the year off and I will let you play anything. I'll even let you change classes when you become a fifth grader. Okay? That's the rules for everybody. That's the rules that I've been trying to make sure I stick with 100% of the time for everyone. If you're a fourth grader, you play flute, you don't like it. Okay, when you're a fifth grader, you can go to saxophone or you can go to rock band or you can go to drumline. Okay? Finish the year with your instrument. That way you can at least say, oh, I played flute for a year. Okay? Not like, oh, I played flute for a month. Nobody's going to like, oh, that's not anything important. Jeez, my computer screen keeps locking because I'm talking forever. All right, and finally, about me. My name is Mr. C. I'm a music teacher here at Irwin Academy. Um, I've been involved in music since I was in fourth grade. Uh, do I want to tell you guys what instrument I played? I guess. Um, I played saxophone, played alto saxophone in fourth grade. I uh, started playing guitar in high school. Uh, then I made the change to play bass. When I was in high school playing saxophone, I broke my saxophone because I didn't take care of it. It shattered into a whole bunch of pieces. So I'm very picky about you guys taking care of your instrument. Um, I play in a couple bands. This one right here. My face is on my t-shirt. Manantial de Fuego. We're actually very popular. Really cool um, Spanish rock band. Um, this guy right here, Elias, I taught his kids here at Irwin Academy. They, uh, they're in Barstow, and they're still doing awesome stuff. Madian, Diego, what's up, guys? Uh, that guy's a drummer, Marco. And then there's Gustavo and Rafa and Javi. So um, bands change. We've got different members now. Uh, Javi is doing different things. What's up, Javi? Uh, we have a guy named Maro. Kind of like tomorrow, but it's just tomorrow. Okay. Uh, he's playing guitar with us. Uh, I play saxophone for this group. Uh, we have albums out on iTunes and Spotify and all that stuff. And um, we've played with some pretty famous people and we play all over the place. We played in Mexico, Texas, play in LA a lot, all around the high desert. Um, another band I play guitar in. Uh, it's called Jade. We have an album out on iTunes too. It's misspelled. <laughs> Two teachers in the band and three teachers in the band and their album is misspelled. We've tried to fix it, but it hasn't happened. Uh, Mr. Case plays the bass in that band with us. Uh, we don't really play everywhere. We kind of just play in the high desert for now. We're trying to play all over the place. Um, I played in another band, a ska band where I played reggae ska band where I played bass um, I lend my musicianship skills to my friend Javi this guy anytime he needs a studio musician he calls me up hey Mr. C can you put some bass on this hey Mr. C can you put saxophone on this blah 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 I'm there to help him out so um, that's how I got with that reggae ska band uh, one of my good friends Martin he uh, writes some songs and we are all friends from back in the day. We get together and uh, put out another album called The Sways. The S W A Y apostrophe S. Second album's coming out soon. Pretty good stuff. Um, with our friend Robert and with this guy Marco on the drums. I'm almost running out of time here. Uh, what else? I play video games. I don't like Fortnite because I just got tired of it. Uh, what do you play, Mr. C? Do you play PlayStation? No, I don't play PlayStation. I don't play Xbox. I have a Nintendo Switch. Um, when I was a kid and got a PlayStation, got an Xbox, didn't get a Nintendo GameCube. Shouldn't have left Nintendo. Nintendo's always been reliable. I like my Nintendo. I'm happy with Nintendo. When I go home and I want to relax, I play me some Minecraft. I enjoy playing Minecraft because it's chill. Okay. Uh, will I beat my nephew in Call of Duty? Yes, I will, because I was pretty decent back in the day when I was playing Black Ops 1 and 2 and Modern Warfare and all that. I was okay. I wasn't the greatest. I wasn't, oh my gosh, I'm so quick scope, dude. 
No. Um, I'll tell you the truth. I was okay at Call of Duty, you know? Um, I played my nephew because he's talking trash. He's like, hey, Mr. C, I could beat you in Call of Duty. We're playing Black Ops 2, and I'm like, man, let me show you how it's done. And I, I smoked him, and he denies it, and he doesn't. <laughs> he chooses not to remember. Um, um, like Mario games, I'm pretty good at Smash Brothers. I'm even better at Mario Kart. Uh, I'm very good at Mario Kart. And I'm not one of those teachers, my new fourth graders, that will let you win. Okay? I enjoy kicking your butt in video games. Oh, no. I'll beat you in Mario Kart, Mr. C. Nah, you won't. You won't. Ask any. Ask anybody. I will destroy you in Mario Kart. Anyways. Um, yeah, I, I like Nintendo games. I like playing um, old games. I like video games. I like music. That's pretty much what I do. Um, I work, do a lot of construction work with my father-in-law. Um, we usually do a big project once a year, uh, doing concrete, building stuff. Um, like hanging out with my kids. Mm, what else is about me? I have three kids, a uh, girl, a boy, and a girl. They go to um, AAE. Uh, that's where Mrs. C works. Um, I don't talk about myself, so I don't know what else to say. But, yeah. So, um, you can find videos of me performing all over the place YouTube I mean I figured I'd tell you now because you guys are probably just going to find them anyways in the past I've been like oh no I don't do stuff I don't play in rock bands or I play in rock band what's it called I'm not telling you and people you kids still find it anyways so uh yeah you can check out some stuff Manantial de Fuego disc group a lot of, a lot of video footage uh, stuff before I was in the group and I've been in the group for a long time um, you'll see me playing saxophone, playing trumpet sometimes. It is what it is. Um, I have fun. I have fun playing music. I have fun making music. And I'm very excited that I get to share that with you and that I get to teach you guys what I know. So if you want to be better than me one day, I hope you will be. Because if you're a better musician than me, I did my job right. If you love music like I love music or more than I love music, then I did my job right. Okay, I'm here to help you guys become better musicians than everyone else. And hopefully I accomplish that goal. So that being said, I'm done talking. I've talked for 37 minutes and 45 seconds and I'm done. And I'm hungry and I want a taco. I love tacos. So this is Mr. C in the place to be. Irwin Academy C Nation Studios. I will see you guys next time. In the studio late night, getting on the car, getting on my studio, doing hot dogs in the desert with my car. Got everything I need, getting restarted. Yeah, I got my car sitting on a yellow, sitting on the floor. Mike and Nana, I'm a yellow. I got one, two, three, four. Rocky on that beat, number one to the feet. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah.